just a preview of what the render can look like. Um, so just added cloud background here and some well some haze. And that's it. Let's check out the scene itself. What we're gonna do is we're going to use this. So we're gonna use global illumination with these settings. If I hit F10, it will take uh, about 12 seconds to render. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to set this one to 25 and render. Now it should take 12 seconds to render. Okay. Um, but I'm going to cut this render time down to about one second, one and a half. From 12 seconds to one and a half. How do you do that? Well, you use cache. Uh, locked, yes, 10. I'm saving the cache file right here. Uh, bake radiosity frame or bake radiosity scene? We're going to bake the radiosity scene. And that's going to take every 10th frame and bake it to a radiosity cache. So right now it's baking the first frame, takes a bit longer. The second frame takes much shorter. Third frame, fourth, fifth, and so sixth. Seven, I guess. Uh, so what did that do? Well, I have an animation here from and the camera is moving from this position to that position within 60 frames. So what this cache will do is that it will render the GI for, from 0 to 60 frames using only 10 global illumination radiosity settings. So any work so but the thing is it does not work if you got moving shadows so if you got a moving truck moving or something like that across this terrain or a moving character walking across the screen then it's not gonna work only if the camera is the only thing moving okay so that's what I did I baked the radiosity scene and if I hit F9 now this should render in 0.9 seconds. That's pretty good. Cool thing is since I baked this with a multiplier of 25, so only this low resolution, um, it baked down fast. Now I can cheat though and I can put this to 50% half HD resolution, render it, and the render time is almost the same. Pretty cool. Uh, and I can put it to 100%, and the render time is what? Only 8 seconds for this render. Um, so I might go, okay, well, you saved some time, but you can't really animate things moving over over the screen. So what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that I can move the camera position to frame 30, for example, hit render, and this frame will also render in only eight seconds. That's the big deal. So if you were to do this without cache, let's see. Remember, 10 seconds. And now it's 10. 
This is a normal way of doing it. 20 seconds. Almost there. 30 seconds. So you can see how long this takes. 40 seconds. I'm not going to wait. So you can see how much time we could just, you know, crunch. Let's turn this one on again, just for fun. Press F9. Jabang. <laughs> 10 seconds. And yes, this works for animation as long as stuff and well cars are not moving across the screen or leaves across the the, the ground or character moving across the screen you can't have that but you can do that in a separate pass okay let's just render this because this is so fast i can actually show this in the video So it's rather incredible. Um, so it's going to take me two minutes to render this this half HD render. Two minutes with GI. Now, okay, so. There's a trade-off. You can't have the characters moving across the screen. Well, what you can do here is you can have a character moving across the screen in a separate pass. The way I often do that is simply using animated limited region. So if you have a character that starts walking here and, and ends up here at the corner of this screen then you can just basically just use an animated region to cut down render time and then you can paste that that video that animated limited re region video on top of this render and that should be a piece of cake the benefit will be that um, this will render extremely fast like it's doing now and the limited region will have well it will look great um, the other nice thing about this is that it's no flicker there's when using the cache method there's like zero flicker at least uh, for these kind of scenes And the third great thing is that since we render this one as a background animation and use animated region to animate to render the character walking across the screen, we can always create fast tweaks. So if you render the character walking all across the screen and you want to do something else later on, then you're free to just render that limited region over again instead of rendering the whole shebang. So, well, I guess you could do that uh, in other, when using brute force as well, but uh, I just think that's a very nice thing. Um, so yeah, there we go. And uh, Let's have a look at the render. Looks pretty great. R remember that this is a two minute, two minute render on a fairly slow machine. And there is no flicker.
So there you go.